join in as they were in London. Coffee, no, you still pull up. Mm. Can you hear only the? Oh wow, Meanwhile, it's nice. That one is nice, not oh. west door of St George's Chapel. The step liners, a dismounted step lining party found by the Household Cavalry Mounted Regiment, is taking up its place, and the clergy uh -huh. of the. Did you need to say that March babes? Uh huh. On the left there. Game of Thrones. Ah. Uh -huh. Is it like Game of Thrones? Yeah. <laughs> and it's up these steps that the coffin will come when the procession finally reaches this horseshoe cloister at the bottom end of the well, chapel. You stand there for ages. Yeah. The clergy, including, you may have noticed, the Archbishop of Canterbury, come from Westminster Abbey. And the other clergy on the left there, of the Chapel Royal, the Dean of the Chapel Royal in Scotland, the Rector of Sandringham will be here, the Minister of Crathy Church, or Crathy Kirk, perhaps I should call it, Reverend Kenneth Mackenzie will be here, Sarah Mullally, Bishop of London. This is the Horseshoe Cloister, this red building with black beams reconstructed from by the Victorians but making a great cloister with its guard of honour here, three officers and 110 rank and file from the battalion, first battalion, the Grenadier Guards, who, who hold, hold this ground in the front of the chapel. Sir Tony Blair, with his guard come by coach from Westminster to be here. So when I said that here at St George's it was going to be largely household and people who were friends, perhaps the Queen and Godchildren and the wider family, that's all true. But there's also, because it is still a state funeral, they're also going to be represented. And some of the foreign royal family in Britain and other royal families, for instance, the Queen of Denmark, who now is the last 
serving woman monarch in Europe with the death of the Queen. She will be here. The procession has now entered the long walk for a journey of...